Hey everyone, it's Kelly, product manager on the Camtasia team. If you've used a recent version of Camtasia, and if you've checked out some of the motion graphics from the TechSmith Asset Store, then you know we have some really great quick property motion graphics that let you quickly and easily add motion graphic animations to your project that you can then customize. However, making your own customizable motion graphics wasn't possible until the new Camtasia 2021. Let's take a look at how to quickly build a stylish motion graphic that you can customize for your own videos or even share with others on your team. To start, let's take a look at the final version of the motion graphic we're going to be making. It's a pretty simple one with a line that grows in the middle of the screen and then title and subtitle text that reveals above and below the midline respectively. To get started with this motion graphic, let's do our midline. We'll grab a rectangular annotation and size and position it to how we want it to look in its fully revealed state. From here, we need to add some animations to give it a reveal. We'll start with our opening animation by collapsing the left and right edge at the beginning of the animation. Let's expand the length of the line on the timeline by one second, which gives us a half second on the opening and closing animation, plus five seconds of on-screen time. Okay. Now we'll add another half second animation at the end of the media, and we'll animate it out by collapsing the left and right hand edges again. Let's take a look. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to reveal our title and subtitle text. We're gonna use some media mats here. Media mats are a great tool because they make sure our text doesn't reveal until exactly when and where we want it to. Let's start out though by putting our text on the canvas and positioning it where we want it. We'll also resize the text boxes just a bit and make sure the auto resize text option is checked so that when we customize our text later, it'll stay in the bounding box we define, otherwise it might reveal too early. Okay, great. Now let's animate our text. We're going to animate the title so that it slides up from below the midline. And we're going to animate the subtitle in the opposite direction so that it slides down from above the midline. This all looks a little crazy right now with the text crossing all over the place because we haven't added our media mats. That animation looks good though, so let's add our mats now. To do that, we're going to grab a standard rectangular annotation and use it to cover all the space directly below the midline so that it will hide our title. We'll do the same with another annotation for the subtitle, so let's position that above the midline. Great, those are all set up. No need to animate them since they won't actually be visible on the screen. They act sort of like an invisibility cloak that hides anything that goes behind them. Now that we have our blocking annotations in place, we need to apply a media matte visual effect to them. But before we do that, let's group them first. That way, we make sure that they only block the text that they're supposed to and nothing else. Let's grab our title media and our bottom annotation and we'll group them together. We'll do the same thing with our subtitle media and our top annotation. Open up the title group, apply the media mat effect to the blocking annotation, and poof! Now our text is hidden until it passes above the block. Let's go into the subtitle group and do the same thing, adding the media mat effect to the blocking annotation. And there you go. Now we have a really cool revealing motion graphic. But now, if you look over on the properties panel, you'll see we're missing our special quick property assets fields. This is because the fields get generated when you group your objects together. Let's go ahead and select everything on our timeline and group it. Now you can see we have our fields that can be easily customized, either by you or your team. We can even go into the Advanced Quick Property Asset Editor if we want, and edit things like field names, group similar objects together to work better with the themes, etc. And there you go. That's how easy it is to make a basic motion graphic in Camtasia 2021. You can of course get as fancy as you want, your only limitation is what's in your mind. If you come up with interesting designs, make sure to share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more great Camtasia tips and tricks, and go download the latest Camtasia 2021 to check out all the great new features.